been a two and a half year process from when we first learned that the Air Force was going to be releasing four F-117 stealth fighters a year to museums across the country. So we're so excited, two and a half years later, the F-117 tail number 817 Shaba right behind me has arrived here in Kalamazoo at the Air Zoo. So working first with the Air Force and the National Museum of the United States Air Force in really building that partnership to understand what it would take to not only transport this F-117 from the Tonopah test range out in Tonopah, Nevada, to the Air Zoo, but then also what it was going to take to restore this aircraft back to its former glory. We've had a really great journey to make this happen today. And in fact, going out to Tonopah, they were so gracious in helping us understand what it's actually going to take to restore this aircraft. As you can see behind me, it's not that beautiful, sleek, black stealth fighter that you might remember, but in fact, we have a lot of work to do on it. You can see all of the leading edges all the way around the aircraft have to be replaced. Those leading edges had uh, top secret technology. They are those edges that scattered the radar uh, to decrease the footprint so no radar could actually see this aircraft in flight. So we need to replace all of those. We also have to repaint Shaba because the paint is also top secret. It's radar absorbing paint. So we're gonna have to do that, fill in lots of cracks and crevices and things like that. But within about a year, we are going to have this fully restored. What's great is we're restoring this right on our exhibit floor, right here in this spot. So anyone coming to visit the Air Zoo from Michigan and beyond will have the opportunity to not only see the aircraft, see the restoration in action, but you can interact with our 75 restoration volunteers and staff members. Hear the stories of this incredible aircraft, how they're restoring it, and maybe even have the opportunity yourself to be able to work on this historic aircraft. When we first saw the list of F-117s that were gonna be demilled and headed to museums, we chose tail number 817 because of its remarkable combat history. It's one of only five F-117s of the 59 operational that were built that has flown over 5,000 hours, participated in more than 75 sorties, and flew in three of the four major campaigns in which they were used, including Desert Storm, Just Cause, and Iraqi Freedom. So a lot of great history here with this particular aircraft, wonderful stories that we're going to tell. Now even the name of this aircraft, Shaba, is really important. Shaba is a word that in a Middle Eastern language, it means ghost. And when you think about these aircraft, as they were training, uh, they, were, they were testing these technologies, they were only flown at night, even at certain times, so other uh, satellites orbiting the Earth couldn't see them, really acting as a ghost in their missions as a stealth fighter. Radar technology could not find these airplanes, so they could be flying to and over targets and actually drop their payloads before anyone would even know they were there. So the name Ghost for this 817 is absolutely perfect because it spent its entire life as a ghost.